TMJ has been tracking him down. She joins us live from Kenosha County. Trenny. Well, Mike, we do know his name is Dino Lorenzi, and we're standing in front of St. Catherine's Hospital in Pleasant Prairie because that is where Dino Lorenzi works most days. Now, we should point out that the hospital has said that his involvement with the Major League Baseball testing program has nothing to do with the hospital, so they will not make a statement. But we did want to find out more about Lorenzi and how exactly he's linked to the Ryan Braun case. This is Dino Lorenzi, and right now he's the most sought after piece in the Ryan Braun puzzle. The 52 year old took Braun's drug sample home and kept it in a cooler in his basement for two days. He should have taken it to FedEx, but the location was no longer shipping that day. I have no idea what happened to it for that 44 hour period. So he went to his home in Pleasant Prairie looking for answers. No one was there, so what do we know about Lorenzi? Well, he's the Director of Rehabilitation Services for United Hospital Systems, and he's trained in sports medicine. He's been a collector for Major League Baseball since 2005. Now, I spoke with Patrick Courtney. He's with Major League Baseball Public Relations in New York, and Courtney told me Lorenzi will not be commenting. Now, Courtney also told me that Lorenzi was hired by both Major League Baseball and the union. He obviously will not be commenting. Now, the reason that this is such a big deal, guys, that that's, the sample sat at his house is because it very explicitly says in the Major League Baseball Joint Drug Agreement, it is Section V, Part 7, that absent of unusual circumstances, that sample has to be taken, and it specifies to a FedEx location immediately and sent out immediately, as Ryan Braun pointed out that did not happen nearly 44 hours passed before that sample was sent to the facility in Montreal. Yeah, that's one of the many puzzling parts in this case. Trini Kuznerik joining us live. Thank you very much.